Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look at the euro currency once again. So in big end we have discussed the trading plan. It's all better to say not even the plan, the strategy. Mostly how we intend to deal with the current market because uh, it has some uh, special moments. First of all, that although we have the big resistance on the high time frames, we do not have yet the uh, understanding what, what the particular reaction will fall and in what manner market intends to react. Everything becomes even more complicated as we are standing in a tough week with the triple central bank decisions, non-farm pros release and other stuff. So and that uh, make really process of the trading it's a bit uh, difficult and well it might be really thrilling. So and we said that uh, we actually could follow two ways uh, possible ways how to deal with it. It's first of all uh, you could wait for some greater pattern to for to be formed on the fall hour time frame chart, maybe even on a daily chart, as you can see potentially where considering this might be the hand and shoulders here, but definitely it will not will be formed not on this week. Or you could try to make careful attempt to go short based on some intraday performance on minor pullbacks that we actually also discussed in the vehicle report. So if you remember, we talked about the hand and shoulders on the hourly chart and said that well, area around one or eight ninety. It might be considered for possible taking the short position with the stops above the head, above the top, and see what will happen. So it's uh, really personal, so it's mostly should be suitable to your mentality, uh, how you feel more comfortable to, to to deal with it. Some traders, for instance, uh, lose the patience and when they are not trading for a few sessions, and well, it might be difficult to the mind uh, to adopt this idea. So they are easily to take the positions and trade. Uh, careful with the minor lots, decreasing, uh, lower sizing lots, uh, but still taking the process. Uh, well, for the others, for instance, they prefer to trade relatively rare. So taking position on the daily chart and see what will happen. So uh, both uh, both scenarios currently are possible. So what we have on the daily chart still, we do not have any clear patterns. Yes, market shows minor downward direction. Uh, traders do not want to take additional risk before important events. The one important thing that we have to mention here is forming of the divergence right there. But it even better could be seen on the dollar index. On the dollar index, we have the perfect picture. So this is a Jet Napoli May City uh, histogram. And um, take a look, we have the divergence here. Market stands in the sideways channel with slowing down with our action. But more interesting is that actually we have on um, monthly chart that actually shows the real background that what we have. Let's take a look. We have market at and we'll delete these lines. We're not needed anymore. Right at this major 618 support. And if I put here the oversold level, you can see where it stands. So that's the core. So market and the major 50% support on the whole frost in action. The same on the euro currency 109.42 and at monthly oversold. Euro currency correspondingly at monthly overbought. And that creates the background for forming any patterns on lower time frames on the daily in particular and on the euro currency bearish patterns here. But market still needs some time to do this. On the lower time frame, take a look once again divergence here, as you could see, and slowing down of the, the of, of the of the downside action. This market gradually is turning down. That's our hand and shoulders that we talked about. This currently we could use the ABCD patterns based on it, and take a look. That was also the grubber. So actually, it already has been completed, but maybe it might provide some assistance for those of you who. We're considering taking the short position right there at this top. So market currently is coming to the OP is one rate 22. So if you would like to take the new short position, it would be better to wait for some pullback. Maybe minor retracement here could happen. 
Uh, another target stands at 1 or 766. This is the XOP and take a look. This XOP actually corresponds to the target of the divergence. So as you know, the divergence target is usually the bottom between the tops of the divergence right there. So that's potentially might be the neckline for this next, let's call it as a next head and shoulders patch. And these two targets we could consider. So most probable scenario that should happen since today we do not have a lot of uh, information. So the bulk of information will be releasing mostly starting uh, tomorrow. And uh, today it's probably should be the last more or less quiet session. If nothing will happen, of course. So from that standpoint, our market is coming to the OP. It's uh, chances that we could get some pullback. And if you intend to take the new short position, if you trade on this scalp uh, on the intraday charts, it's probably better to wait when the market completes the OP and shows the pullback to some of the FIB levels and consider taking the position. Mostly in the same manner as uh, we did with this one. So take a look on the hourly chart. If you remember here, we discussed the possible upside pullback. We said the retracement will be compounded because there was grubber here. And uh, we said watch for some ABCD to the 1 or 9, or 8.90, as we said in our, in our uh, week report. And this was just slightly higher, 1 or 9.13. And then market just collapsed. And this is some ABCD passion. Take a look that 1 or 8.28 is also the 6.18 support. So here is we have some agreement area where market could show the bounce. Besides, if you will place here some kind of the, even could try the butterfly, you could see that extension stands 1 or 8.20. 17 maybe from this upper swing so here's the butterfly might be formed with some pullback anyway it will be better to wait and maybe we will get this the same type of action getting some godless cheap to sell or something of that sort and in general if you'll take a look at the tight chart let's take a look that's definitely some kind of the rounding reaction is forming so it's very uh, gradual rounding and the top and take a look at how symmetrical the performance it's very similar uh, spikes here. So it's very typical. This kind of symmetry is very typical for the rounding tops. So that's what we also need to keep an eye on. That being said, for the scalp trading, we're watching for this level, starting with the pullback, then making decision on a possible short entry. Uh, for the daily traders, currently probably it's nothing to do yet. So because pattern has not been formed yet on a daily chart, so we need to wait and see a bit longer uh, because on the daily chart, market needs more time to form something.